We're in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., to see the President's Trophy winning Washington Capitals. Good evening, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich, and a thrill tonight, it always is, when you get a chance to see the number one point getter in the entire league. It's going to get a lot of attention, Doc, because when you are leading the league in scoring, you're going to see the other team's top defensive players. Viveros is well aware of that strategy. Night in and night out, he is facing those top defensive defensemen, so he needs to be real creative to stay at the top of the scoring race. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. This man's getting the decision from the coach tonight. Get in there and get us a win. Let's see if he does for the home team. A win in his last game, so he gets the nod in this one. John Tavares, the first overall draft choice of 2009. Four years later, the Islanders made him their captain. Winner of Olympic gold in Sochi. A year later, he was a first-team All-Star. Laid on to Nordstrom. Let's it go. Big pad save. Quick wrister. Hits the post and out. Moving it to Johnson. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Pass to the slot. Loose puck did not go very well there. Sends to the point. Takes a shot. That puck left the zone, and so everybody has to drop back to center. Looks ahead to start something. Snapping a pass to Farmer. The fans would love for this rookie to get that first goal. Wonderful stop. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. And freezes play for the whistle. And here is the third voice of our crew, the man in the coldest place, ice side, Ray Ferraro. Washington's been really pleased with the way that they've started the season. This is a team that knows how to win. They've got contributions from lots of different players. They know there's lots of games to go, but this is a team that's very happy with their early season play. Thanks very much, Ray. Propel to Henritas. Looking from the blue line. Cuts off. It's just him. The shot is off. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Pitching this one to Farmer. Crosses that line. Pitching it to Gensel. Toronto's along the wing at center ice. That attack shot right down. Puts one on. And a save. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Just over seven minutes have been skated here in the first period. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Steps across that line. A shot. Swept aside. Oh, and it's off the mark. And the puck heads to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. I sure haven't liked what I've seen from this power play so far. They haven't been able to get themselves set up in the zone, and as a result, they haven't been dangerous at all. At an angle to Zaitsev. On to Kadri. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play. And it shows on the shot clock as well. Cuts the pass. The Maple Leafs have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Up to the point. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. He was able to see it all the way and blocked it. Did not get anything up. What a tremendous hit. He's certainly on a mission out there. He's trying to set a tone for his team in what should be a really physical contest. Looks over his options from the corner. To Kapanen. 
gains the zone. Shoots. Good save there. Passing one off now to Henritas. The Capitals have it through the neutral zone. Trying to go to Marner. A neutral zone interception. Let's it go. A good stick stop. Loose puck due to the play by John Tavares. He throws it there. He got his glove on that one. A little past halfway here in the first. The Leafs lead 1-0. Leads that charge into the zone. Makes that play deep. What a terrific opportunity. Wonderful save. Shoots one. Save there. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The Maple Leafs prevailing on the faceoff. He just flat out missed it. Farmer is trying to work his way out of his own end. Slid to tennis. Oh, broke it up. Say, puck is thrown to Marner. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. And now it's directed to Henritas. Can start the attack going in the zone. Stole that pass away in his own end. Pass attempt to Henritas. Looking to McPherson. Chip to Farmer. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Directing that one to Matthews. Finally on the dump in, a rest for the defense. Couldn't retain possession. Great save. Brisebois tripped and a penalty should be coming. Marlowe's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Hit the Leafs penalty to number 15, Patrick Marlowe. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes. Washington's power play unit makes its debut tonight. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. Brisebois sent to the box, two minutes for boarding. This was a dangerous hit here, Doc. No chance for the player to protect himself. Capitals penalty to number 93. Two minutes for boarding. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 38 seconds. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've been successful before docking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Turned aside with a pad. The Capitals shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Washington's done a remarkable job of killing off the penalty. Back at full strength. A shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. Oh, the puck's in the net. It's a goal. Around the 20th minute of this period. In with it now. That puck came free. Could have been handled. The pass fails and the puck leaves the zone. One minute left. He makes the stop and holds for the whistle. The Capitals with a face-off win. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. And it's all saved. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. The Capitals win it. And the puck goes back out to center ice, and so everything will have to get reset. Washington's got it between the blue lines. The Capitals have their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. The Leafs get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. 
The Capitals' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Great opportunity. Point style. He got iron with that one. Shot it back out of his own end. If they can get organized, maybe time for one more attack before the end of the period. He is able to move on in. Can he clear the zone? Got it back out of the zone. Twenty minutes are in the books, and so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. The Leafs own a two-nothing lead. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at kiosks. Toronto's netminder has fashioned a goose egg on the opposition side of the scoreboard. At the end of this period, we are still thinking about the last huge save.